guys, I'm Maria Kolar with Go Unmanned, and today I'm going to show you the brand new DJI Mavic Pro. struggles of having a drone really isn't the flying part as much as the transporting. You want your drone with you at all times so that you never miss a really cool shot. Compared to the Phantom 4, the DJI Mavic Pro is so much easier to carry and it can literally fit in any bag. Not only does the drone itself fold up into this tiny little ball, but DJI has completely read on the remote control too. It comes set up for an iPhone, and you plug it in right here, but it's also compatible with any other mass-produced smartphone. Here's the Phantom 4 remote controller so that you can compare the difference in size. It's so small and compact, and it still shoots 4K video, flies up to 4.3 miles away using the RC controller, and it has the ability to fly just using your smartphone. So if you're strapped for space, just leave the controller at home. Comparing it with the Phantom 4, you're still getting that 4K video quality, better distance, and more options for a quick flight. However, you will notice the image sensors on the Mavic and Phantom 4 are a little bit different. Um, with the Mavic, you'll notice that you're getting a little bit more of a cropped field of view. Now here's the best part, unfolding it. You wanna start with the top arms first, and then you'll just swing the bottom arms out like so. And let's compare it to the Phantom 4. It's got pretty much the same wingspan. It has all the same sensors as the Phantom 4, with the two obstacle avoidance sensors in the front, two sonar sensors in the bottom, but now an additional camera for precision landing. Here's where you're going to put your micro SD card. And what we also have here is a switch from Wi-Fi if you're using your smartphone to RC if you're using your remote controller. So I'm a huge fan of this brand new remote controller. It takes a bit of practice to get your phone situated in the clamshell, but trust me, I will take the hassle for the size of this thing. Now back to the drone. One of my favorite new additions is this protective bubble over the camera. The cameras are always the most expensive thing on these UAVs, so having a little bit of extra protection when you're traveling or even flying can be just what you need. However, I will say, since it's made of plastic, if you're flying early in the morning or late in the afternoon when the sun is low in the horizon, you're going to want to pop this bad boy off just to avoid any glare. Inside of the bubble, you have this brand new gimbal clip, which keeps the camera safe and secure when you're not flying. So here's the battery, you just pull it right out. Super lightweight, it lasts about 27 minutes, which is a slight improvement over the Phantom 4. Here's the updated charging brick. With this end, you're going to be able to charge the drone itself. And then with one of the two USB ports here, you can charge the remote controller. Overall, I cannot believe how tiny this thing is. You can compare it to the Phantom 4 remote controller and it's still smaller. Now let's take this baby out for a test run. If I can fly it, anyone can fly it.
All in all, the Mavic is amazing. Check out our website to learn more. Thank you.